My desk is a mess. I can't get out of here. I've done it again. I've piled up stuff all over the place. <sighs> that is the life of Ultrazilla. So gang, this is uh, an organizing which was all toys, as uh, it just said. Um, we we got we got to get out of this, right? We got to get out of this habit, but it's very hard. I'm get, letting you guys know it's just really hard, you know, uh, when you try to do what I do, and that's daily content. Um, now I was also sick for I'm still sick at the time of this recording. I mean, not fully sick, but like you know, I'd say I'm a 90% you know at, at this point um, and since I've, I've been getting a little better I've been trying to pump out more content at the time of this recording I have just finished my Godzilla day uh, reviews of Godzilla 04 and Gigan. I'm not spoiling anything because you're not seeing this video till well after that I actually have no idea when you're seeing this video because uh, I'm I'm struggling to figure out if I'm you know because I'm doing so many videos, if I'm, you know, adding more in right now or if I'm keeping it daily. I'm trying to keep it daily. Uh, so to finally get ahead a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, because then stuff like being sick where I miss four or five days here on the channel won't happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was close because at, when I did that, like I had four videos filmed as I got sick. So I at least had some buffer. I could have had more buffer because truth be told, my two Halloween videos um, were already done too. I could have, you know, cut that down had I launched those videos earlier, but I decided not to because I wanted to keep them to where they are. So we have like a lot of things that are open that I've reviewed. Um, so some boxes like like this box have got to go. Um, I, th I think this is going to go to the Invincible box. I'll just put the accessories elsewhere. I do like that figure and he is sticking around because um, at the time of this recording, I feel like this set, and you might, I don't think you've seen this review. Uh, you might have seen this review actually already. Um, I, I believe this set might make my tops of the year you know it, it's borderline right now so but i really like that so i just want to get stuff out of here that i know is not going to be here anymore so yeah this is this is that so that's gotta go which is good go 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 but then you got you know i gotta get a little baggy for the accessories which is mostly just hands and heads so that's not too bad, but you know, I have a lot of hands and heads here, including spooky heads uh, and Godzilla heads, lots of Godzilla heads. But this is Super 7 stuff that, you know, I need to put away. And of course, putting away means, you know, put away some of these guys too. Um, I think these damn Prestos will go on this shelving here some, some, somewhere. I'm not sure where, guys. I'm, I'm really not. Um, they're going to have to just go in front right now. These guys will go on this side. This is bad news. Here is a Godzilla casing. I don't know which figure this is from. I think this is SH Monster Arts. We got something bigger here. We have Ultimate. We have the Gorgo casing, which I guess saw my review. I have this dome. I don't want to get off because it's just far. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. It's, it's just, it's kind of cool. But, I don't know. Let's get this filming off again. Garbajo. Alright, brought in some uh, bags that I have for recycling, which definitely needs to be filled a little more. 
here in the Studio Series backdrop for um, Ultra Magnus. And I'm through that part of the video at this point, but I don't know if I'm fully done with it. Here's the box. Uh, I'm just gonna toss it. I, I think I, I don't need it anymore. Um, and we got these. Take that there. Go in there. There is a lot of plastic on the Invincible box, so I feel like I do have to take it apart a little bit for recycling. You know? Exciting. Exciting. But you know, you never know. This is a lot of plastic windows and stuff, so better to take it apart a little bit before tossing it, in my opinion. Good figure though. Again, if you saw my review, I think you'll agree, really, really good. So that's pretty cool. On my desk, I have some stuff that's kind of good too. I don't know if you saw this yet. That's a review I recently did. Oh, these guys. This is the Tiga from Innovation Point. I started working on this review, uh, but at the time of this recording, I did not finish it because I need some sort of batteries, and I got to figure out what all the bat all the directions are. Uh, you know, not in English, so I got to figure out what batteries these take. I don't know where to put them. Ah! Okay, so this definitely belongs to this. This is. Uh, Open and it has nothing in it, so we can put that back. And we do keep my SH boxes. That's all. Although they don't close very well, I hate that. You guys ever have that problem with SH boxes? They just don't close well. And then this one appears to be a Hiya Toys box, and uh, I toss those because I just don't get. Oh, and then we got, oh, a little catalog from Hallmark. Uh, I got some cataloging videos to do. I shouldn't have thrown this one out. Um, definitely, I don't know how I'm splitting those up yet, but definitely doing some cataloging videos soon. So I got the tray for the Mecha Godzilla. so I'm going to put away that stuff. This doesn't really have a place, but that'll just go in the middle there. Of course, you know, you have to be able to find everything. Huh? Here's, here's a head. Uh, so that could go in. And then there should be some extra hands here. And here's one. Don't necessarily have to put them in the right spots, but, you know, close to the right spots. Two. Should be two more here, somewhere on this desk. Well, I'll have to uh, find that. We got the Gorgo stuff. I don't know where Gorgo is gonna go on my shelving, but wherever he goes, well, wherever Gorgo goes, Mama goes, I, and Big Ben, because it's a, it's a nice little display altogether. Big Ben should be here somewhere, but then you got the other little things that I need to get back in the box because I'm just not, you know, going to be displaying these at all. And here's the Gorgo tray. i trying to get things in. Should we try or should I just put them in? I, I really, as long as they're in here, I don't care too much. Where'd everything go? It's just in my hands. Oh, Gorgo. Okay, here's a plane. Two planes. Where did the things go? Oh, they, I just drop them on the floor. I would. Hi, guys. <laughs> there you go. There's the rest of the stuff. So, three planes, three things, that little sub. That's everything. Everything else is going to go on display. So, this box will be put away. Very good. I also must say that this looks a lot better without the plastic film. So really nice, definitely a keeper. 
I did forget the alternate head, which is the actual original head, but I'm keeping the glow in the dark head on there with the glow in the dark eyes. I think that one's better. Well, I'm on my floor now. I'm a little all over place on this one. I'm just trying to get as much done as possible uh, while creating, a, you know, more content. Um, it, it, cleaning shouldn't have to do with content, but at the same time, since I did start this series and I did have to clean, I might as well film. It keeps me to cleaning for a certain amount of time, uh, which is good. Here's the Mechagodzilla box, so that's gonna have to go in there. But it's funny because when I was putting the hands in here, um, I forgot that there's an open piece down here and uh, it was just falling out. So I think I misplaced a couple pieces, misplaced. <laughs> Uh, so I only have one hand in there, so that I'm just going to have to put on the side for now. And we got more boxes to throw away. There's a Studio Series Rhinox. Oh, and then I had these. That goes in there. This is Heat Ray Godzilla, which we have to find the components of. I do have one of the tail pieces. Oh, this is both of them. I think... I don't think they do two, so one's for heat ray, one is for burning, I, I would say, right? And what do we got here? Oh, this is the tray of uh, Monster Girl. And so is this, so that gets tossed. This is an older tray, so I'm not going to touch that. I don't want to bring that over, get to that side after. This is all done, everything is in here. Creature that I'm keeping. Whew. It is quite bananas. Shogun Godzilla box is, is good to go. What's down here? Ooh. Oh. I have no idea what this is. It might be one of the Godzillas. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Yes. And one of these tail things should go behind here fine. Okay, so that's one. And then I have a head. And then I have a hand that I found. So, whichever one it is, it's going to correspond pretty much the same way across the board. Yeah. Good. Twist ties. They're all over the place, guys. I hate it. Talked about this so many times in the reviews. Now, here's a tray that's all messed up. I have no idea what this is from, but it's all messed up, so it's garbage now. I'm gonna toss that in there too. Here's another tail thing. So I gotta find the outer part of that. That's fantastic. Okay. I'm standing in a clear space again that I could walk through. <laughs> Always a good thing. So that's good. Alright. We need to find another tray for Godzilla. And I have, this is the Burning Godzilla stuff, because, not the Burning Godzilla, yeah, no, this is the Heat Ray Godzilla stuff, because I remember, well, here's the Heat Ray thing anyway, but I remember not taking these out, so this, this is good to go. Actually, there should be an extra head here. Was the head that I put in here? Did Heat Ray Godzilla have an open head? I'll have to look that up, I can't remember. All right, he did, so that's good, so that, uh, pretty much settles that. That's gonna go into the heat ray box, uh, which completes this. Yeah! That's excellent. One of these tail things could go here as well. And I could put this away. That is fantastic. Come on. All right, Heat Ray. These boxes, man. Just too much box. I honestly, I really wish. Um, I, I really, really wish that Super Seven would stop concentrating on boxes. Uh, and the way things are, you know laid out and put that cost into whatever you got to do to like, you know, make the QC better, um, 
or wherever you, you know, a QC better would be a great start. Let's just, let's just say that, right? Okay, and as far as the Burning Godzilla package, I found three hands. There should be one more. And I need the alternate head sculpt, which should have the light orange eyes. I actually didn't check if the uh, box I just put away that head sculpt had orange eyes or regular eyes. So let's see. Let's see if I made a mistake there. Hope not. And I did. Why did you guys tell me? Why did you guys tell me? Burning Godzilla head is in this box, unfortunately. Alright gang, full disclosure, uh, all of the previous video was done hours ago. It is a little bit later in the day now. I've come back to the studio after lunch and uh, some coffee, some editing of other videos, and we're back when we're, uh, I'm gonna finish up this video. I actually cleared up a lot of my desk. Um, Ultra Magnus, whose review I'm desperate to finish, um, like, I, I, I got him back up there. Uh, with hopes that you'll see that next week. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, then we got Burning Godzilla here, who I'm gonna place right here. So, this piece of shelving was perfectly aligned, uh, and has, you know, enough space for, uh, the Super 7. So I think that's where they're gonna reside. We do have some Pacific Rim stuff here that I have to move, but... I do want to rearrange these shelves, so it'll be NECA on the bottom, uh, and then either Pacific Rim over them, which will be like a like just conglomerate of different um, Pacific Rim stuff, and the Super 7 stuff is going to be here, and the highest stuff is going to be here as well. Uh, I have some random other stuff, that, that's NECA, um, so, you know. I gotta figure it out. Evangelion's not gonna be here. I still need a spot for my Evangelion stuff. I don't know where that is quite yet. But that's what we got going on here. And I promise you, next organizing, we're gonna actually do some shelf organizing because uh, we're doing too much, too much cleanup and not enough shelf organizing. And we're gonna get to that. Maybe we'll do this shelf. I don't know. Maybe we'll organize my... Uh, Optimus shelf, which really needs it. You saw we had some dudes over here. We got dudes. Uh, we have some stuff up. These are just random stuff that I've been putting up here. Uh, no rhyme or reason quite yet. However, how about a little preview of stuff I am considering, starting with this Godzilla, for, uh, you know, my best of the year list. It's all under consideration. There's no rhyme or reason here. Uh, on or any order but so far uh, these are a lot of the figures up for contention and coming out of my studio for a second just to give you a little bit of a preview of uh, some other reviews to come still have to review this ultra 7 uh, this Rodan I have a joy toy here yeah we'll talk about that I do have a joy toy here to review. Still have to do Tyranitar and Bludgeon. This is a figure I recently acquired. Uh, as oh well as Studio Series Optimus Primal. And of course, Gigan is still here. So a bunch of stuff yet to come. Just these reviews have not been started whatsoever. But you will be seeing these all coming very soon they're you know on the short list to do because you know they're all uh these are all 2023 so they have to be done all right gang we'll leave it at that because uh you know this video is going long already anyway you got you know a little something different at the end there uh, a little uh preview of a future organizing a little preview of a uh, uh, best of the year stuff and a little preview of some reviews to come so Hey, why not, right? Good reason to have checked out this video. A little reward for sticking with me. I did clean up my desk a bit. It's not perfect like some other times we've done it. And I cleared a nice path on my floor, to tell you the truth, on both sides of my desk. 
um, which is good. Getting a lot of those Super 7 Ultimates, Toho Ultimates off the floor, which they were taking up a ton of space, was big. So we'll work on uh, those shelves next time. Um, and hopefully I'll be working on them in between the next time too. So, you know, we have a little starting point. And I'm not, like I said at the, you know, somewhere in this video, you know, not just making, uh, not just cleaning to make content. You know what I'm saying? But I hope you dug this one. Regardless, I know some folks like the little looks into my uh, process. And, you know, it is uh, the story of a collector and reviewer that's pretty prolific. So I think it's worth uh, checking out, right? And there you go. That is uh, my organizing Ultra Zillow's toys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to sub yourself for daily content. And let me help you diversify your collection. Do me a favor. Hit the like button to help the algorithm as well. And comment below on what you think of this. Till next time, peace out peeps.